This is the town I love, a neighborhood of family and friends. You know how we do Southside Chicago, baby. Yes, baby. And right here at the heart of it all is where everyone comes together. The barbershop. What's up, homie black folks? <laughs> Who wants some gangster grub? That who's hopping in one fleek last time. Did she just say fleek? There's a whole dictionary full of words. There's a library down the street. You won't see fleek in there nowhere. <laughs> he funny. He make me laugh. Happened in the barbershop, Calvin. We used to come here to get away from women. Me and Angie, we was both struggling to keep our shops afloat. So we had to work together. Saved us both. I can't believe y'all put all that money on your heads and then don't be having the money for your rent. With this hair and this booty. Damn. It's like walking around with a black Amex. And I never get denied. Why y'all always got to take it there? <laughs> Streets is crazy right now. I damn near got robbed the other day. I got robbed twice and got my ass beat by the second robber for giving all my money to the first. Uh-uh. She wasn't playing. <laughs> this neighborhood was always rough. <laughs> but there's something different going on. Hey, shoot out there. I don't want to tie a virgin. Get your old ass down, man. I ain't getting down there. It take me too long to get back up. Meanwhile, we got to raise Jalen in this mess. You don't understand how dangerous it is out there. Y'all need anything? Y'all straight? We got to take our streets back. We put our minds together. We going to get some solutions. I got so much love for everybody in this neighborhood. Turn that up! Yeah, this got to be some of my best work. I bet you he won't be talking back to his mama no more. <laughs> Give me George Jefferson. No, no, no. <laughs> You've never gone skinny dipping. I'm very insecure. We're going, right now. Ben, I think there's an acorn caught in your pubes. Shut up. I said skinny dipping, not mini dipping. I should have just gone straight to New York to start my new job. Come on, man. It's your dad, all right? You can handle this. Does he live down there? Play it again. Hey, Dad. Get in here, you pussies. I didn't bring a bathing suit. Problem solved. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Is that the lady? Yes. Hide, hide, hide! Oh! Oh, oh my god! What's up, guy? Hey. That guy came over here and tried to fight you. What would you do? That guy's a Marine. I would take my beating like a true American. Hey, who would you fight? I'd totally fight your dad. Let me put it this way. My dad looks like a human Muppet, and I'm 100% sure he could kick your dad's ass. Who do you think would win? He's a lot bigger than you. Uh, he'd probably be sober, which is a huge plus. Do you know how many fights I've been in? I don't know. Six. Seven, if you count that little dust up I had at the used car lot. Ah! My kids lost all fucking faith in me. Benjamin. There's a storm brewing on Maple Street. I'm here to settle this debate our kids are having. What, what's the debate? We don't really care about you guys fighting. I think you do. You got five seconds to swing. No, I, five, I, I four, don't. Five, three, two, <laughs> and the gazelle fleet. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Where is that motherfucker? How come you're not in New York? I body slammed my dad off a roof. Are we in jail? And then they arrested us. You know with your one phone call last night, you called me and the, I lost my job. So you'll drop the charges? Get me a pool, I'll drop the charges. How about a bird bath? Why? I don't have any fucking birds. I fucked up his life pretty bad. I gotta make it right. I just got us a meeting with an ISG. We're getting your job back. What are you doing? I'm gonna make this right for you. What? No. This is our VR meeting space. Oh, fuck! I'm a kangaroo! That's not real. Everybody down! We got a pelican! Ah, ah fuck! Some people say I'm unstable, and I snap. I got you! Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a snap. See Mr. Black? It's for the paper. To what do you owe your success? I have a natural instinct for what makes a person tick. Hannah? Christian? Ow! Ooh. That hurts. Oh, please, God! Ah! 
White girls, get that elevator fixed. Give me a smile. Okay, no smile. Don't ever smile again. So, how did you make your money? I exercise control in all things, Miss Steele. And you don't want somebody like me. You're such a stallion! <laughs> I don't do romance. I need to know why you won't have a real relationship with me. Let's just say my life wasn't always easy. My stepdad, Ron, is a little overprotective. Are you thinking about marrying her? No. What if she get pregnant? Still no. But hell no. I like this one. <laughs> I'm just the dominant. Show me the worst. <gasps> Service! Ah! Oh! Did you break my stool? No. We have to talk. You mean like white people? What's wrong with that? And they start throwing around all these big SAT words. I like it the black way. What you not going to do? Oh, no, what you not no, going to do? You are not about to, oh, don't let me get to clapping, boo. Oh, hell no. See, that's communication. This is Mr. King's car. Man owns the building. At least we can get his car right. Oh, I have almost no cash. Just $9,000. I got your keys. Just so you know, I would have done the same thing if you were white. That's good to know. Money, 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 money. Buenos dias, Cecilio. There's a water spot. You don't think people can see those? Damn it. Get the roof. James King. Yes? You're under arrest for fraud and embezzlement. I have faith that the justice system will exonerate me. I sentence you to 10 years in a maximum security prison. Did he say 10 years? <laughs> My life is ruined. <laughs> because after 30 days, I'm going to prison. <laughs> It's not as bad as I've heard, is it? Hell yeah, it's bad. Teach me how to survive in prison the way you did. Tell me how you know I went to prison. Given your low economic status. Wait, what? Your perceived lack of college education. Lack of, okay. Statistically, you definitely went to prison. I'll see you tomorrow, convict. Hello? You ready, white boy? Ah! Pepper spray, bitch! Prison school is in session. I'm learning so much, this is exactly what I need. What reason did you give him to assume that you went to jail? I was being black. You're not exactly a thug, Darnell. All I gotta do is talk a little deeper. I'm gonna say goodnight. Oh, bitch, don't walk away from me. What the hell did you just say to me? What is up? Stop! What is that? This is my prison readiness program. You master these skills, you will survive in prison. Let me see what your mad dog face look like. What is a mad dog? Your mad dog. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what are you doing, James? Sad dogging you. I think that's a strategy that could work. Please don't sexually assault me. I'm already too sad. I go hard. Will he survive? Never decease. This ain't, ain't no longer your house, man. In peace. I'm a killer. We are saying Quentin now. You're in the wrong part of the yard, white boy. She lost this say? I'm very confused. Then go back where you belong. I don't know where I belong. I it's know like... where you belong. You belong with me. I don't want that. You got go. Oh. We do this, we do it hard. Get As your incarceration expert, this is my job to prepare you. We are about to simulate a prison riot. That was intense, right? Oh. Actually, I feel fine. Oh! What? You got a roll, Mayo. Oh, who's Mayo? It's my gang name. It's short for mayonnaise. Let's fuck this mother. I'm in. Just going through the laundry? Found these new thongs. You know I love it when the music's loud, but come and strip that down for me. Tonight, I'm tearing these off with my teeth like an old school cartoon billy goat. Yeah. Honey, Mitch, those are your daughters. Run, run, I'm ready. You look beautiful. I used to hold that girl in the palm of my hand. Kayla's becoming a woman. You're gonna have to deal with that. Thanks, was looking for that. We gonna light it up. 
Like it's prom night. Dad, why are you here? You think I'm gonna miss the most important night of your young life? Isn't that graduation? Graduation is for losers. Tonight is the first night of our adult lives. I want to go to prom and lose my goddamn virginity. <laughs> prom night. It's kind of perfect. I'm in. Julie left her laptop open. You guys are snooping on our kids? All emojis have a secret meaning. Oh! Eggplants are dicks. This is some kind of a dick-related agreement. Maybe they're just saying, hey, you're okay with me. You're okay with me. I mean, maybe. What? Our girls are not thinking things through. I'm gonna stop them. I'm in. I'm fully planning on having sex tonight. Wherever the night takes us. The night's gonna take us there. Wherever the wind sails our ships. Your ship is going into my harbor. <laughs> They're getting away. WWVDD. What would Vin Diesel do? Hey, Fast and the Furious is completely unrealistic. It's not a documentary. I get that. I'll do anything for my daughter. What about a chugging contest? Bring it. No, no, we're chugging, right? <laughs> we're butt chugging. On the count of three. Oh. They got a lager or an IPA. Oh. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. Butt oh my God. Butt chug. Jesus, he's spit roasting himself. Post, Brian! Post! Oh! Oh! Are you a team player or aren't you? I just chugged a 40 with my asshole. I'm a team player. Wally World, here we come! Look who made it! Hi, Dad. <laughs> Morning, Rusty. This family's in a rut. We gotta shake things up. We're driving to Wally World. What? This is some bullshit right here. My trip to Wally World when I was a kid was the best time I ever had. So you wanna redo your vacation from 30 years ago? This will be completely different. I've never even heard of the original vacation. Doesn't matter. The new vacation will stand on its own, okay? You're the Griswolds, right? Yes. I'm here to answer any questions you might have. What's a rim job? I would guess a rim job is when you kiss someone with your mouth closed. That's it? So you're only using the rim of your mouth. Hope you're not too old to let your dad give you a good night rim job. This trip's exactly what we needed. There was a hole in the side of my stall. Sounds like you found yourself a glory hole. Yes. Hmm? No. All right, let's hit the road. They see me rolling. They hate it. I don't know why you want to go back to Wally World. <laughs> Hot springs up ahead. This is beautiful. I say we call it Griswold Springs. <laughs> the minerals that are in this mug draw toxins out of your body. I don't think this is a hot spring. I found a dart. Are you crazy? Everybody had a Griswold Spring. Hi, y'all. Just wanted to make sure y'all had everything you needed for the night. TV remote. Okay, let me show you. On, off. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Okay. He totally just came in here to show off his six pack. How about some tunes? I don't understand why you have to drive down to Florida. We just had the funeral. Your grandmother and I were there at this time every year. It just seems like we're cutting it a little close with the rehearsal brunch on Friday. <sighs> I'm just freaking out. I know. Can you take my car, sweetie? I need the SUV for the wine. Now let's get in that giant labia you drove up in and get out of here. Hey, we're heading to Daytona. So you guys want to tag along for a bit, maybe? Party some babies into us? Oh, we're not going to Daytona. Bam. 
Jeff, are you kidding me right now? Grandma's funeral was yesterday. She told me on her deathbed, you get back out there again. Hey, Grandpa. Did he just call you Grandpa? What the f- Wanna be a lamb and get that for me? Did you ever go on spring break? No. Hey, you know, one in three of these girls has herpes, even if you can't see it. Whoops, that never usually happens. Really, it happens to me all the time. Daytona Beach! You're in Daytona Beach? We're just driving through. Jason! She's not right for you. If you marry her, you're gonna be sleepwalking through the rest of your life. The way I see it, this is our last stand. Get off my mother! Party till you're pregnant! I just smoke crack? Yeah, but just like a lot. I just smoke crack! I don't even know how much I appreciate you doing this for me. Just get naked. That's the best way to sleep. Oh my god. I want you to tear open my bra like it's a social security check. Now fumble around and pretend like you're trying to find your glasses. I found them. I can see. The greatest gift a grandson can give his grandfather was a hot college girl who wants to have unprotected sex with him before he dies. Yeah, most grandpas just want toffee or socks. buddy brought you your favorite candies come on lloyd you gotta get over her mary samsonite was just a girl <laughs> that's it kid come on come on come on spit it out god yeah <laughs> wait a minute so you mean you have been faking for 20 years mm -hmm. and it was all for a gag yep that's Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Why don't you roll me inside? We'll get the nurse to take the catheter out of me. We don't need nurses for that. But don't you have to... Ah! Ah! I like what you've done with the place. Who's this? Oh, that's Butthole. I found him out in the alley. Why'd you name Butthole? Because of this. Good name. Totally fits. It's a postcard from Freda Felcher. Harry, I'm pregnant. Please call me. What do you think it means, Harry? Lloyd, I'm gonna be a dad. Ah! Look at the postmark. 1991. I had a daughter. I gave her up for adoption. Well, what if we go track her down? You're hot for my daughter. What? Am I right? What? Am I right? I'm inside. <laughs> I like her a lot. I know she'll appreciate all the trouble you've gone to to find her. Let's call her. It's ringing! Whoever this is, we're in the middle of something very important here. This is your dad. What? Hey, guys, I know this is weird timing, but I gotta take this. It's my dead dad. She's got me on hold. Mikey? Yeah, Grant? I've got the diamonds. Mikey's listening. They're underneath me. Did you hide them inside this turkey? They're just above the giblets. There's no diamonds in here. And you're not my grandson. Harry, she's got me. She's really clamping down. <laughs> ah! You can cross that one off your bucket list. <laughs> I'm often asked, what makes a hero? Courage, selflessness, sacrifice. Somebody say hero? Meet the Weekend Warriors. Stand out of touch, you miserable piss If there was ever a worse excuse for a soldier, I'd like to meet it. Well, hey there, Sarge. Snap into a Slim Jim. We just got our order. Uh, Sarge, we're supposed to go home tomorrow. Yeah, and on Mondays, I cut the grass. Wrong, sunshine! We're going to paradise. The land of sand and sun. Daytona Beach? For if I'm gonna die tomorrow, I wanna get a good night's sleep. Good night! We're overloaded. Get ready to dump the gear. This is it. Iraq. Oh, damn! We're in Iraq! What in the name of Siegfried and Roy are you fellas doing? Don't ask. Don't tell. Iraqi insurgents. Now the battle is on. Hold your fire! Right, I'm gonna fire! It's Ramo! Let's get out of here! 
There's just one little problem. What's the funny? You're not in Iraq, gringo. Oh, my God. We invaded Mexico. And there's nothing we can do about it right now. We have more terrestres for you. You see, if we leave now, the terrorists win. They're not being all they can be. You have the right to remain silent! But they're doing all they can. Look at our cars, Zippy. That's vandalism! <laughs> to get out alive. You're in a lot of trouble, Ringo! Get them! Get them, guys! Come on! That'll work. Bill Ingvall, DJ Qualls, and Larry the Cable Guy. Let's get her done. Delta Farce. What did you guys do last night? <laughs> Good God, man. Everett, you shouldn't drink tequila. Damn, this always happens when I eat the worm. Sophomores, the assignment was to write to a role model, someone you admire. Miss Miles, care to tell us who you wrote to? Anton Vincent. The dictator. You found evidence on their computers, yes? They do not have computers. Then, then how did you know they were traitors? You, you said they were, sir. Fire! I admire his style. Dear Tatiana, your letters have been a welcome respite from my struggles. There is a rebel faction that wants to behead me. There is no one I can trust. Oh, I can totally relate. My mom is having an affair with her creepy boss. My school is ruled by some mean girls that call themselves slushies. And the guy I'm into is a Jesus freak. I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that. Sometimes I feel like you're the only one who gets me. Communist dictator Anton Vincent has been ousted and still unaccounted for. It's you. You're smaller than I imagined. You're older. I'm going to remain here. Fine. But you need a disguise. <laughs> this is me. Please don't be mad. I was going to tell you. Not a creepy child molester. He's a dictator. He is a political refugee. Completely harmless. He's a horrible person. Anton, no! My social studies teacher! Are you milk-boarding him? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got the wrong map. You have power, but you don't know how to wield it. It's easy for you to say. Rebel never accepts. The rebel charges. When the moment is right, disrupt the slushy's power with decisive action. Ah! Whale tails are the opiates of the masses! You must have the courage to do what you believe in, even if it hurts the ones that you love. Exit the house with your hands raised. I'm proud of you. Why? You became a rebel. Ow! My name is Susanna Cahalan. I'm 21 years old, and here I am with my dream job at the New York Post. Gross. Why are you smiling this early in the morning? It's unnatural and disgusting. You look ridiculous. Susanna! You're gonna interview that creepy senator. You'll have a Thursday night. I know I will, because I can always count on you. I had my whole life in front of me. Happy birthday! And I had absolutely no idea what was waiting for me. Savannah, where are you? You're very, very late. You gotta get your ass in here. You're gonna miss the 10 o'clock meeting. I feel really sick, you know? My head hurts. My stomach hurts. And my, my hands numb. And I've never felt this before. We've tested Susanna for every infectious disease. All of the results are negative. We're gonna get to the bottom of this together. Her EEG is completely normal. Her MRI is normal. Her neurological exam is normal. It's all normal. Her condition continues to regress. Manic behavior, paranoia. Each of them is giving us a different diagnosis. One is saying bipolar, next one is saying schizophrenic, then they're saying psychotic. We should look at hospitals that are better equipped to deal with her. Just take the pills. She needs all of us. We will find the answer. Her life is in your hands. Tell me what is wrong with my daughter. You must be the famous Susanna. I'm scared. I know she's still in there. She's just trapped. I promise you, I'm going to do everything I can to find you. No, no, God, no. Time is of the essence. Your 
Hey, kids. As you know, I am one of the producers on your movie, Good Boys, and unfortunately, I'm here with bad news. You guys cannot watch the trailer for your own movie. What? Are you Come serious? On. Are you kidding? It's just too messed up for kids your age. There's drugs, there's violence, there's swearing, and although we've decided it's okay for you to do these things in the movie, you can't watch yourselves do them in the trailer. That's well, fucked up. Oh, it is fucked up. Yeah. You can say that, but yeah. you can't watch yourself say that. That's fucked up. Welcome to Hollywood. I found all these weapons in my parents' closet. I think your parents will let me wear this for Halloween. The knobby? It's Japanese for nunchucks, motherfucker. Oh, fuck! Are you okay? You smell like shit. I'm having a party tomorrow. You in? Yeah. Can Thor and Lucas come? They're my best friends. We do everything together. You're so random. Two weeks into sixth grade, I'm already a social piranha. Sippy cup. Sippy cup. Does this look like a sippy cup? No, it's a fucking juice box. Because I'm not a fucking child. You do not want to go to Soren's party not knowing how to kiss. We could spy on my neighbor. She's a total nymphomaniac. Hey, stranger things, go fuck yourself! I need to get a closer look. What the fuck? This is what happens when you don't respect women. I respect women. My mom is my best friend. What about me? But that's gonna kill me, Joe. This is how we get the drone back. Picture this, I'm a bag of dick. You took my bag? Don't get any closer! Oh my god, there's Molly in there. Okay, who's Molly? Cause she's not with us. Jesus Christ. You had us bring drugs to a fucking playground? Nobody speak, nobody get choked. We're not crossing a highway. Are we fifth graders or are we sixth graders? <laughs> Here's the plan. I'm gonna go to the party with a beer so everyone knows that I'm cool. What do you have in your pants? My penis? Pull it out. I also have a big dick. Nobody speak, nobody can choke. Hey. Nobody speak. You're not getting me straight. I'm fine. You're very <laughs> Oh, hell no. Hey. You made us run around with drugs, fight with frat guys. Nobody speak, nobody can choke. I have an idea. Oh! Yeah. How many husbands does she have? Get out of there, girl! Ah. Nobody even kissed. Well, not on their mouths, at least. Yeah, some guy called over here, a doctor. He's looking for a driver. You interested? I am not a medical doctor. I'm a musician. I'm about to embark on a concert tour in the Deep South. What other experience do you have? Public relations. Do you foresee any issues in working for a black man? You and the Deep South? There's gonna be problems. Promise me you're gonna write me a letter. I promise. Tell me that don't smell good. I've never had fried chicken in my life. You people love the fried chicken. You have a very narrow assessment of me, Tony. Yeah, right? I'm good. Be interacting with some of the wealthiest people in the country. It is my feeling that your addiction Oof. could use some finessing. Oh, fun on, but what, why are you breaking my balls? Because you can do better, Mr. Balalonga. Dear Dolores. I saw Dr. Shirley play the piano. He's like a genius, I think. Come on, take it easy. I prefer not to get grease on my blanket. Ooh, I'm gonna get grease on my blanket. This gentleman says that I'm not permitted to dine here. I'm afraid not. How does he smile and shake their hands like that? Because it takes courage to change people's hearts. What are you doing? A letter. May I? Dear Dolores, sometimes you remind me of a house. You know this is pathetic, right? Put this down. The distance between us is breaking my spirit. Falling in love with you was the easiest thing I have ever done. Yes, kiss the kids. That's like clinging a cowbell at the end of Shostakov, which is a seven. And that's good. It's perfect, Tony. Come on, get out now. You never win with violence. You only win when you maintain your dignity. You don't know your own people. You, Mr. Big Shot, doing concerts for rich people. So if I'm not black enough, and if I'm not white enough, then tell me, Tony, what am I? Won't you tell me?
Anyone can sound like Beethoven. But your music, what you do, only you can do that. What do we do about the bones? We do this. <laughs> <laughs> Pick it up, Tony. Squirrels would eat it anyway. Pick it up. Your Majesty, may I present to you the greatest detective of all time, Sherlock Holmes, and Dr. John Watson. I love you. Oh! Whew. What a looker, right? She is stunning. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. His methods are ingenious. Right there. He's a master of disguise. What have you done with Sherlock? Why, Watson? I never left. Oh, amazing. And his mind is brilliant. Angle of approach. Compensate for warp and floor. Termination of mosquito. Well done, Holmes. Oh my God! What's in that dark again? A murder in Buckingham Palace. Solve this case in four days, or I will kill the Queen. Signed, Professor James Moriarty. Come, Watson. We have a killer to catch. Yeah. No shit, Sherlock! <laughs> Shall we begin the autopsy? Dr. Grace Hart. A woman doctor? Impossible. Fortunately, we have a real doctor here. Would you like some heroin? I have two days left to live. Solve this case. Her Majesty. Would you mind if we had a picture together? Watson, who's going to take the photograph? I will take it. You see, it's sort of a self-photograph. He's a real fan. I swear, I never do this. Hey, girl! Hey, girl! Over by the window, the lighting's much better. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my God! Mother of shit! <laughs> Could you just introduce yourself? Hey, my name is Doug Kenny. I started the uh, National Lampoon. What if you say, I was the man who changed comedy forever, but I couldn't change myself? Really? Blow me. If we're running our own magazine, we can do anything we want. We can publish knock-knock jokes. Knock-knock. Who's there? Me. Me here. Me not doing the magazine. <laughs> that can go an issue one. It's a total failure. We're selling less than half our print run. You're not gonna hurt him, right? No. What are you doing? Don't worry, I don't think there's any bolts in there. Catches! Catches! The Mormons are protesting. The feminists hate us. What do we do to the Catholics? Liza Minnelli? We are being sued by Disney. Maybe it wasn't such a hot idea to have Minnie Mouse flashing her tits. She has pasties on. All right, ready, girls? Three, two, one. Catherine, I'm the woman you're hitting on. Doug Kenny, Chagrin Falls, Ohio. Live from New York, it's Saturday night! We're barely able to put out a magazine. Then let's barely be able to do something else. The first National Lampoon movie. Laser, Laser orgy, orgy girls. Doug Kenny, Chagrin Falls, Ohio. One of the writers of Animal House. Food fight! You call this success? Mostly an excuse to party. You ruined this company. We can't come back a failure. I do care about you, Doug. Laugh, goddammit! I need to see someone. Inside that bungalow, some of the creators of Animal House are working on their next movie, Caddyshack. And I'm sure it's gonna be just as crazy. Dog, we need to decide. Is it clear he's jerking his dick off here? Yeah, because we can make it higher or lower depending on the size of my dog. These actors don't look exactly like the real people. But come on, do you think I look like Will Forte when I was 27? You think Will Forte is 27? 
Let's do this. This is for the magazine, right? With your imagination, you can create anything. Where's the food? The beds? We were promised school supplies. They want you to go meet with them in New York. They want you to give us millions of dollars. I'm not coming back without a suitcase full of money. You must be Isabel. Yes, I'm Teresa. So nice to meet you. So we have a list of priorities. I have the caterers on the line. I'm really sorry about that. You just caught me at a, at a very busy time. My daughter's getting married this weekend. Come to the wedding, we can get to know each other better. I pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations. Everybody smile. Hey. Hey. Hi, good, you made it. Isabel runs an orphanage in India that I'm thinking of funding. Oh. Yeah. What are you doing here? I didn't know. Hi. Isabel, right? I told you that I would call you. But you didn't. This is strange to see Oscar again. He's a good-looking man now, but back then, it must have really been something. I'm about to donate a small fortune to the orphanage Isabel runs in India. I don't trust your wife. She's gonna give you money for your charity and you're gonna question her integrity, huh? 20 million. What does she want? You know that you're not the only one affected by this, right? We don't get to choose. You tell her or I will. I wanna know everything. What did you do? Juan Armando Garcia is Colombia's biggest drug lord. The United States issued a $25 million reward out for the capture of Mr. Garcia. We gotta go on vacation, man. What's a vacation from our lives? Three tickets. Have a wonderful time in the nation of Colombia. Think about it. I'm listening. $25 million reward for the capture of this dude. I'm doing this. Vincent, what have you done now? You don't remember anything? You lost your mind, and your wife, your job, and your dignity. Hello! So you somehow thought bringing us to a third world country to catch a Colombian cartel drug lord was a good idea? He told me we was coming on vacation. I didn't know we was gonna be doing Rambo shit. Enough. They got the curve, man! Do you know who I am, Mr. Pomeroy? Cartel members kidnapped our friend. We were told that you can help us. <laughs> What are you doing? Hoo-ya! Gentlemen, welcome to my training ground. First lesson, always be aware of your surroundings. What the? You stayed up all night painting yourself like your wall? Affirmative. Only one thing you need to know to keep from getting killed in battle. Show your lips shut with your hair. Hold up, the crazy shooting at us. Oh, oh, that's one more to daughter. We're in love. Did Alice tell you I have children? She mentioned a son? Thomas. You have another? No, just Thomas. I thought you said children. Who's that little girl? Really pretty. 
Jeremy's sister. Don't panic. I'm Claire. Lizzie. How's your medication? Much better. You haven't been doing so great. Full custody. You know this was coming. Hi. I saw this place listed online and I thought I'd check it out. Would you like to see upstairs? Can I come in? What do you think we look alike? Once. A little baby. She was in an accident. Every time I see Lola, I'm more convinced. Convinced of what? She's my daughter. That's crazy. You have no idea what it's like to lose a child. Lizzie was committed for almost a year. She is stalking our family. We lock the doors. We put the alarm on. It's okay. Lizzie, just stop! I know what's mine. Nothing is yours. Do you love your mommy? She loves you too. Looking good, Jeff. That beige windbreaker is really lighting up my board. Oh. Do you know what I mean? My vagina. God, that woman is a cancer. Bye, Jeff. Oh God, here comes that weird little stay-at-home mom. Oh my God, what are you wearing? Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Maddie was up all night barfing on my hair, but it's great. I'm very happy. Gross, I think she's just got her sadness all over me. Here comes Amy. Just don't know how you can leave your kids all day and go to work. Oh yeah, but I also need things like money. Right. Oh. I'll see you guys later. Just love how hard she was. Such a hard worker. I just said that, Vicky. Got four minutes to get Roscoe to the vet, which should be fine. You're super late for your marketing meeting. I can't believe I'm gonna be late to my first soccer practice. You having a bad day? It could not get any worse. What? Damn. Damn. I called this emergency PTA meeting to address an issue that affects the safety of our children. Terrorism. The bake sale. This is a joke. What's that now? I can't do this anymore. I'm done. In this day and age, it's impossible to be a good mom. Screw it. Let's be bad moms. Uh, I'm in. Just bad moms! Oh, God. Somebody move my stool. Amy, hi. I was calling to see if you'd like to join me at the movies this afternoon. Are we allowed to do that? This has literally been the best day of my life. Have a great day at school! Hey, Amy, PTA meeting at 2. Will we see you there? No. PTA. Nobody takes a class or plays a clarinet unless I say so. She's a bully. We have to take down these perfect moms. I say we go punch that chick right in the tits. Yes! This is the best PTA meeting ever. I haven't had sex since my divorce. What if I get someone who's not circumcised? Run out of the what? room screaming. It's like finding a gun in the street. Just scream and get out of there. Yeah! I love you. Oh my god, Mom. That's so loud. Ah, I love my baby so much! August hasn't been in class since last October. We need him in the class. It's a budget thing. Are you gonna make sure my son doesn't get shot walking home from school? Is that your son in there making music right now? You know who I am? Security guard in my school. I mean, yeah, I am, but I'm also a manager. I want to help you with your music. Ain't no other love like my city, Shot City. And why go still got it in me. Crown by the hood. 
fantastic right there. He's a machine that makes a beat a minute. He's fragile. Oh, what's her name? Naya. Hey, Naya! You just gonna hit her with your creepy window game or y'all talking? Oh, I'm getting back in the game. Yeah. This kid is our way back in. August needs therapy. Let's do it. He hasn't been right since his sister got shot. Yeah. What are you doing with my son? Is I here? I'm just here for moral support. Yeah. From the north side down the lake shore. He can do big things in this world. <gasps> but he has to be in this world. Will make you the most famous 17 year old in Roseland. Yeah. I don't really do those type of things. My son was very happy before you started coming around here. I just want to be normal. Yeah. People that are listening to your music want to be free. Make some noise! Yeah. It's Chicago! My brother's is dead and I'm standing here. Let's make some music.